Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can define more than one user-defined function in a C program. Before start, uh, I want to give you one information. If you go to description of this video, you will find links of various playlists related to C language, so you can follow them. Now, uh, I am going to tell you this with the help of this example. So I will be performing two operations on two numbers. One is sum and second is subtraction. So there will be two numbers like A and B having two separate values. So we will be having two separate functions. One is for addition and one is for subtraction. So with this uh, example, you will see how we can define more than one functions in a single program or in a same program in C language. So, first I am going to declare function. So, if you want to define or if you want to have more than one function, so accordingly you need to declare them as well. So, other than main, I am going to define two more functions. So that's why two declarations are available here. Both have written type as int and both have uh, both will be having two parameters as input. Now after this, I'm writing main function. Then int a is 5, b is 10, and third variable is c. Then I'm calling some function first. So this is the calling statement, complete statement is function call. I am passing two parameters and the result will be available into C. And here you can see I myself provided A and B's values, but in real time you can also use printf scanner so that a user can provide the input numbers. After this, I am writing printf which will display sum equals to value of C. Then I'm calling another function, passing same values a, b as input, and the result will be available into c. Then printing value of c as subtraction. And this way I'm closing main function. So here you can see this is first function call and this is second function call. And after implementing main, I need to define two separate function definition. So I'm going to do that. So you can write int sum. Now here you need to use data types. So in various uh, programs, you might have uh, seen that whatever parameter name we are passing here, we uh, use them as it is here as well. So you can write this int a int b. And instead of B, let's say I'm writing X or Y, so this is also correct. So while defining function definition, you can use variable names different to the calling statement. Both will work fine. So if you have same names, then also it is correct. If you have different names, then also it is correct. Now here you can write return X plus Y. So you can do this also. So I'm not using any third variable to store the sum. I am just returning the result of this expression and the result will be returned into C variable directly. And after this, I am defining one more function. So its name will be subtraction. And here I'm writing return X minus Y. So this way you can see this is the first function, this is second function, and this is third function. So we have three different blocks having three different tasks or purpose. So this way, I hope you understood how we can define more than one functions in a C language program. So as per your requirement, if you have, let's say, 10 different logics, so you can have 10 different user-defined functions as well. So it depends on your requirement how many user defined blocks or functions you want to have in your program. So there is no limit. You can define any number of uh, user defined functions. But 
by whenever you want to execute that function you just need to call that uh, in any particular function whether it is main or any other function right so i hope you understood whatever i explained in this video if you want to watch more programming related videos open my channel and you will have lots of videos also you can go to description of this video so i have pasted all the playlist links related to c language so you can watch them thank you for watching this video